welcome to yet another episode of Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, I'm going to cover in further detail gaming in VirtualBox. Uh, now, I'm running Windows XP Service Pack 3 in my uh, virtual machine right now, and you can see on the screen here that I have one of my favorite games of all times, Microsoft Freelancer, running. Now, uh, in order to play this game effectively, I actually had to disable mouse integration, otherwise the game just doesn't function. There are also other games that maybe the cursor won't show up unless you have mouse integration enabled. So when you install these games, you want to try and play around with the settings a little bit because each game may be different. And um, something uh, you may notice here in the video that the game itself is playing a little bit choppy. Well, mainly the reason for that is, you know, I've got a number of uh, processes running. I have desktop compositing turned on. I have my video camera working, and of course, uh, I'm recording a screencast. So the animation and everything is somewhat choppy. But uh, there are there's an answer to this uh, that may uh, that some of you may find helpful, and I'll go ahead and cover that now. Let me uh, get my mouse pointer back, and we'll move over to my next slide. This uh, is um, some ish some uh, commands that you can issue to your terminal, which uh, will um, which will turn off and turn on desktop compositing. So if you're using, if, if your windows are wobbling or you're getting special effects, you know when you open and close windows, that's minimize or uh, minimize or that sort of thing, well then you know you have uh, those effects on and you need to shut them off. Now if you're using Genome, uh, which comes with Ubuntu, uh, the command that you would issue to your terminal is metacity hyphen hyphen replace. Then you can open up your virtual uh, machine, play the games, and you'll see a nice performance hit on uh, 3D games. And then, of course, when you're finished, if you're just using Compiz Fusion, an, a command a Compiz hyphen hyphen replace will turn your compositing on. And then if you're using Windows decorations like I'm using, you can go with emerald hyphen hyphen replace. Now, uh, something else uh, that you may consider doing if you want to find other games to play. There's this really cool website that's been out for uh, quite a while now called GOG.com. And uh, on this web page, they have a bunch of good old games that are a lot of fun to play. I, I, uh, I've been pl I played a lot of these games uh, back in my uh, Windows uh, 95, 98, even back in the DOS days. There's a huge selection, and these games are affordable. Portable. Um, also, if you have these old games lying around, you may simply just need DOSBox, or you could install them in Windows and then just assign a Windows 95 compatibility mode to them. So that is another uh, option for you. Additionally, there's this really cool website on virtualbox.org, and uh, there is a uh, topic, Working Games Under Virtualbox with a Linux host, Windows guest. And uh, on this section, we have people who have uh, really uh, done a nice job of contributing to the community. Basically, they uh, show uh, what they've done, and they've even included screenshots of the games. And there's 10 pages of these. Uh, my experience, though, most of the GOG games actually do work nicely. So, um, uh, so there are other options for getting uh, the games working, and uh, I hope that uh, I hope that this has been of help to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit this. So the the the, the experimental 3D feature is working fairly well. I I kind of like this, uh, but. Wine is still an option for some uh, for some of the newer games. Uh, just play around a little bit. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please uh, fill out uh, the make a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them, and I'll either type in a reply or I'll just put up another video and uh, 
and uh, get those answers out to you. Uh, thanks for joining me, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. More Linux goodness is headed your way. Thanks for watching.